All right, I'm back with the SG oscillator. Okay, first of all, this is just a coil that I wound, and, and what this is, is you can see here that there's two separate windings which I've divided on one pair. But they're both connected up here at the positive end. And then this is a forced oscillator, so the bases over here are isolated through two 680 ohm resistors. Now each diode is on a branch. If, if everybody remembers my work on Gabriel Crone, I talked about branch circuits, about what could be done with the, the laminar currents in here. Okay, so if we go up here to the scope and we look real close, you can see the difference in impedance in batteries. So if I bring this out a little bit and move this over, maybe, if I can get this moved over, you can see the differences r right here in, in, the, in the two batteries. Okay, so one battery is dead and one battery is almost charged. So let me break this back and put these two together so you can see this. a little difficult to get in, but I'll get it here for you. Okay, so the difference is right there between the two batteries. But not bad for matching two batteries that are not even close together in amp hours. Okay, so the bigger battery, which was more or less charged, is this battery here which is the 18 amp hour and this is a 12 amp hour so the 18 amp hour now is sitting at 1453 the current still staying the same and the voltage and the battery that was totally discharged the 12 amp hour now is there so now you can see what's happening here that these currents in other words what I've done is I've isolated this circuit into branches so that one input can charge a few different batteries on the output so make no mistake about this that this has to be rewound to cover more batteries but yes it's possible to charge 12 batteries out here on the output for the one input which I'm just using the supply right now, but you can see it's wavering around, going up. And this one is staying pretty stable because it has to go up on its impedance curve. And so, once again, I'm going to give you a look here. I knew that there would be a lot of confusion with this, but believe me when I'm telling you that it can be engineered for a COP of 12 or 10 or two or one now I don't have my bike wheel yet because the kit builder hasn't supplied it to me yet so that I can do this for you and show you what you could do with the machine and this is all depicted in the patents and I've said this all along that it has to do with this spike it has nothing to do with this part of the square wave it has to do with this spike. So if we look at these two spikes, you can see that this one here is maybe just a little bit more than this one here. So this one battery says that the impedance is real low, and this one battery says the impedance is real high. So let's look at them together. And you can see it's just a little bit higher here. See? And there's a difference in the two batteries, as you can see here, right here by this notch right here. So if we expand that out, you can see the two notches a little bit better. See here? Let's turn this down a little bit. Maybe you can see it better. I think it's there. But anyway, I didn't want to confuse anybody here, but it's what I've been talking about all along, about branch currents. Everybody that's worked with the SG so far with multiburst circuits 
should have understand what each one of those circuits is doing because you can't have perfect transistors, you can't have perfect resistors, and most definitely you can't have perfect batteries. They're all different, and they're going to give you different results. So, what I wanted to do was take a one-hour input in amp hours, is what I'm doing here, to see how many amp hours I can get out of these batteries in other words, I know I can get the amp hours out of this battery versus that amp hour. But now I got another battery that I want the amp hours out of there too. Because this is all going to affect my COP rating. So anyway, I wanted to share this with you. I didn't want you to get confused. And so you guys have a good day and think about what I've just shown you here.